An emotional day as the world says goodbye to Queen Elizabeth II, Britain's longest reigning monarch. Thousands of guests gathered for the state funeral at Westminster Abbey, including members of the royal family, world leaders, and Monty Roberts, a renowned horse trainer from Solvang, California, and author of the best-selling book, The Man Who Listens to Horses. He had a more than 30-year friendship with Her Majesty, and I'm so honored to say that Monty Roberts joins us now from London to discuss that special relationship. Monty, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for inviting me in. Uh, tell us, how was today for you? How emotional was it? Well, it was extremely emotional. Um, Windsor Castle has never looked that way to me. There were so many people, and there were a lot of incidences that um, reached into my core, you know, and made me realize how important in my life that 33 years with Queen Elizabeth was. Take us back 33 years ago. How did your friendship begin? Well, it began with uh, Her Majesty reading a couple of magazine articles which talked about <clears throat> my um, theory of working with horses in a nonviolent way and taking the whips and all of the aggravation that horses went through out of the training procedures. And it intrigued her. And so she sent a man to California to see my work. And he said it was hogwash, it wouldn't work at all. But she said, it looks to me like it does work. I want to bring him over here. So they arranged it. And I was there um, in 1989, April, the first week in April of 1989. And um, eventually, that fellow that came to California really did believe in me, too. Mm. Well, you have her approval. What was that moment, though, when y you didn't necessarily know that you were going to be meeting the Queen? Yeah, I, I thought that I was just going to do horses and uh, then maybe with a video and the Queen could see them. And um, I actually went to the stable with the manager and I saw a lady brushing a horse in a stall and we walked on down the shed row and I thought it was a, a lady groom. And then she came walking down there and I didn't recognize her. And then all of a sudden I said, your majesty, I didn't realize it was you. And it was the queen of England. And she said, last I checked, isn't that right? Last I checked, I was still the queen of England. <laughs> and. Uh, you know, I think that speaks to her humor and her wit. Uh, I know that you established over those 33 years sort of a pen pal relationship where you received many letters from her that I'm sh you absolutely cherish to this day. What's the one thing you think about the Queen that most surprised you that all of us would be surprised to hear? Well, I think that I uh, thought of a Queen, a world leader, a leader of her own country even, uh, would be a lot different. And she was as real as any human being could be, mm -hmm. down to earth, had her opinions and uh, had her desires for how this world should go. And uh, I just never met any other politicians like that. I trained horses for Ronald Reagan. I had a, a lot to do with the motion picture business in Florida and America and California before I went over there. And, uh, you know, those really important people weren't that way. And uh, mm. she was for real. Now that you've just wrapped your day today, what's the most memorable moment that you will, you'll remember and take with you forever? Well, the most memorable moment was that I told myself I wasn't going to cry. And I don't cry that often, but I thought at a funeral, a lot of people cry, maybe I'm going to cry. And I, no, I'm not going to cry. And so I talked myself out of it. And then they came rolling the coffin down the aisle. They got close to me. And when the coffin was right in front of me and I was standing there, water ran out of my eyes. 
uh, down the front of my suit. Mm. He got very emotional uh, right in that moment. We lost our Zoom connection mm. because of, you know, how Zoom can be. Uh, but we thank him so much for his time and sharing his day, uh, the memorable day it was. You may have noticed his pin mm -hmm. uh, that he was given from the Queen uh, to signify him as a member of the Victorian Order, which is really his, all he gave to the royal family. When you think about it, how much he loved horses and loved dogs, and you think about the fact that they didn't know she was the queen. Right. And they could sort of yeah. treat her like anybody else. What a beautiful yeah. story. What an amazing friendship, too.